My name is Dr. Lewis Chang. I'm a uh, assistant professor of neurosurgery and I practice at uh, Johns Hopkins Neurosurgery Bethesda. So the minimally invasive laminectomy procedure is uh, done differently than a traditional open laminectomy procedure in that uh, this is done uh, through a smaller incision and we do it through a small tube, uh, the diameter about the size of a quarter uh, under the microscope. And it also differs from a traditional open laminectomy in that uh, there is less tissue disruption, uh, there is less removal of, uh, of uh, normal anatomy in order to get the job done. Uh, and there's also a quicker recovery time. Uh, a lot of times the patient can go home the same day with uh, less pain than the traditional open laminectomy uh, and faster recovery. Basically, any patient that uh, has uh, spinal stenosis, uh, lumbar stenosis, uh, that's causing them symptoms such as uh, pain or numbness or weakness in their legs, um, and if they're a uh, candidate for a traditional laminectomy procedure, uh, they are oftentimes also a candidate for a minimally invasive laminectomy procedure. Recovery is different for everyone, uh, but I assess the patient two weeks after surgery and uh, generally a lot of the patients at that time are doing well enough that they could resume most normal daily activities and chores around the house.